The IOPC are investigating West Midlands Police after armed police were called to Finchley Road in the King's Standing area of Birmingham on October the 11th after receiving reports that a man had been chased by a group brandishing machetes. A police dog handler deployed his dog after the group ran off and a 14-year-old boy was caught and bitten. He was later arrested on suspicion of a fray after being taken to hospital for treatment to his wound. Police say a combat knife was also recovered at the scene and three 17-year-old boys and a man aged 18 have also been arrested on suspicion of public order offences. A West Midlands police spokesman said, We were called to Finchley Road, Birmingham, at 8.20pm on October the 11th by a man saying he'd been chased by a group brandishing machetes. Armed police and a dog handler responded and a police dog was deployed after the group ran off. A 14 year old was bitten by a police dog as we attempted to detain him. An ambulance was immediately called but officers drove him to hospital themselves to ensure he got swift medical attention. The 14 year old was arrested at the scene on suspicion of a fray and remains on police bail as inquiries continue. A combat knife was recovered at the scene. Our professional standards department has referred the matter to the IOPC. Three other boys aged 17 and an 18 year old man were arrested on suspicion of a public order offence and released on police bail pending further inquiries. Now to be fair if you play stupid games you win stupid prizes and unlike some incidents where the person may have been having a mental health crisis for example this incident sounds to be a typical gang of thugs trying to be hard ganging up on people with large knives and machetes and surprisingly for you I can't really blame the police in this incident. I mean, I guess we're lucky the boy wasn't shot dead, but was in fact subdued by a police dog, which is far more proportionate and what they're there for. But I am asking why the IOPC would be investigating, as on the face of it, it seems to be a proportionate amount of force, bearing in mind they were all said to have been carrying knives. Now, we have seen incidents where a police dog handler has, at the time of the bite, been in control of the dog for example whilst it's on a lead while trying to deal with a member of the public and have not had enough control over the animal and it's gone on to bite someone which although might be accidental shows a lack of control on the part of the police constable over their animal so i am wondering what else might have occurred here that we don't yet know again when you play silly games you win silly prizes and if a group of people are putting somebody's life at immediate risk then police need to do what they can to end the situation. Unlike the Derby shooting where Marius Sialak was in a secure police car park surrounded by police smashing windows, which isn't exactly life-threatening. This one, however, we will have to wait for more information, but on the face of it, it doesn't seem to me to be something that the police did wrong. But of course, we will wait for further information, and I'll bring that to you as and when it comes up.